This may be the shortest lived project I've ever worked on. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So a couple of weeks ago, I introduced you guys to the WX Radar service. That video released on a Friday morning and by sometime late Saturday night, maybe early Sunday morning, I got an email from the Winlink dev team. And it seems that they found merit in the project, so much so that they decided to include the WX Radar features inside of Winlink Express Catalog. And that is really, really good news. One of the downsides to the WX Radar project is I was having to rely on my home internet to do all of the downloading and uh, compression and then send those messages back out. Well, my home internet isn't near as stable as having the system running in a true data center. They will be now doing the downloading and the image compression on the Winlink servers, meaning there's no need for me to rely on my home internet for this anymore. Let's take a quick trip over to the computer. I want to show you how this works in Pat Menu because I have updated the Pat Menu code. And I'm going to show you some screenshots of Winlink Express in case you are running Windows. All right, so here we are on my Wowee computer. We're taking a look at Pat Menu. This is the dev version. If you are on an x86 machine, you will need to do a forced update with 7.3 Linux to get the latest version. If you're on the Raspberry Pi, then you can use either 7.3 Linux or Build-A-Pi, whichever one you happen to be running, and it should see that there is a new version of Pat Menu available. Just put a check mark by it and go ahead and download the latest version. Once you get there, this is the opening screen of Pat Menu. What we want to do is we want to come right down here to where you see Pat Catalog. Let's go ahead and click on that, and you'll see right here in the center this new feature, Radar Requests. If we go ahead and click on that, you'll get this screen right here. You can use the drop-down menu to choose whichever radar image you would like to see. Once you highlight that, you can just click Continue, and it will post that request to your Outbox. And if we jump over and take a quick peek at the Outbox of Pat Winlink, you'll see that request right here. So if we send that out, give it a couple of minutes, two, three minutes, then we can make a second connection and the Winlink servers will return that radar request right to your inbox. And one of the good things about using this is you will no longer have to remember any of the codes that I had created when I uh, built the WX Radar system. Now you can just go in and choose from the list. And if you haven't played with Pat Catalog before or the Winlink Express Catalog, definitely go in there and poke around. There's a lot of information available to you. All right, let's check this out on the Windows side. All right, you guys be sure to smash that like button. I went above and beyond to get Windows screenshots for the Windows users. When you open up Winlink Express, what you want to do is come up and click on Settings. Once you click on Settings, come down to where you see Winlink Catalog Requests. That will bring you into this screen here. In that left-hand window, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and choose WXUSRAD. If you don't happen to see that there, you may need to update your catalog. And that's super easy to do. Just click that update via internet over there on the right hand side. Once you do click on that list, you will see the exact same request that we saw in Pat Menu just a minute ago. Simply highlight the radar that you want to request and click that post request button over on the right hand side. That will put the request in your outbox. Go ahead and make a connection that'll send it to the servers. Give it two or three minutes and then make another request. The radar image will be returned to your inbox. So what does this mean for the WX Radar service? Well, there's no need for a duplicate service, and since Winlink is hosting this through their catalog request program, there's really no need to keep WX Radar online. So I'll be shutting the service down sometime around the end of the year. I'm going to update that other video. I'll put a pinned comment 
on it, letting everyone know to see this video so that they will know exactly how to access the information. I might keep that service up a little bit longer than that, the, the WX Radar service, and just have it auto-reply uh, to any incoming request to let them know how to do it going forward in the future. I am really appreciative of the Winlink dev team for finding merit in this project. Right before I started filming this video, I did a count, and since the previous video came out, there was 861 requests for radar images that came through the WX Radar service. So there is definitely interest in this project. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.